Well, now to the latest on the CSIRO-developed Barley Max. The so-called super grain has made big market inroads. So a few months ago, we decided to track the progress of people who've made it part of their daily diet. Born in the lab, taken to the farm, packed in the factory, and finally into our breakfast bowl. The Barley Max journey has been one big surprise for everyone. We had expected that it would be of benefit, but we really were rather taken aback by how much help it seems to be giving people. It was a, a godsend for me. It's helped me lose weight. And I feel great. Unlike most other breakfast cereals, the grain in this one was developed here. In the labs of the CSIRO, Dr David Topping and his team were on a mission. You see, as a nation we were eating more fibre, but doctors were reporting an alarming increase in gut complaints, from upset tummies to colon cancer. People have been consuming fibre more and more and more, and yet the rate of diseases that we can home to diet, especially gut diseases, wasn't going down. The rate was not falling. They needed something with twice as much fibre as other grains, so they came up with a super barley, Barley Max. I, I know the CSIRO is a, is a, is a reputable organisation, and if they put their name to something, there's got to be something behind it. And that's, that's actually the, the incentive that I had to, to go and follow it up further and to try it out. And I can't, I've got to say I'm not disappointed. Retiree Ernie Pauser has started eating the goodness superfood cereals loaded with Barley Max, and already he's feeling better. Elaine Hare yes. is another. Because I was very sceptical when I started it. And, um, Why was that? Well, I'm not a believer in all the new fads and fancies that come on the market, so, but I went and I joined the 100 Day Challenge and, um, yeah, I haven't looked back. They're taking part in a 100 Day Trial and although it's only midway, the early results are confirming what the scientists predicted. Barley Max nutritionist Cara Landau. Those that had irritable bowel syndrome, their symptoms have diminished. We had people with high cholesterol and high blood glucose and their levels are now within the healthy range. One of them is Elaine. But then I decided I'd get a cholesterol count done and it had dropped by one. Her cholesterol went from 5.1 to 4.1 and the only thing to change in her life was that cereal. More vitality, um, not hungry. As well, many participants are reporting they're losing weight. But it is helping me go through the day without eating as much as I used to eat. But we eat plenty of wheat and we eat plenty of rice in this country. Isn't that enough? It's very good for mechanical problems of regularity. But the real missing bit is the fermentation of dietary fibre components by the gut bacteria. Yep, Barley Max's party trick is not so much the extra fibre, but a newly discovered ingredient that helps dietary fibre to really work its magic. The once missing component is resistant starch and it's loaded in Barley Max. The CSIRO scientists say it's this resistant starch that's helping to control diabetes, assisting in the prevention of bowel cancer, improving digestion, reducing weight and lowering cholesterol. So they're putting this super grain into cereal to give you more protein, help digestion, assist in a healthy heart and now with winter upon us, a porridge loaded with oats and barley max, meaning they'd be able to get 75% more fibre in that one meal. If we can improve the condition of the gut, there is good evidence and more evidence emerging that it may have benefits outside the gut. At the Goodness Superfoods factory, they're working overtime to keep up with demand. And for managing director Arnold May, there is one more good story to all this. Australian uh, invented, Australian made and uh, Australian owned, so it's all good. And for more information on that story, visit our website.